You do not have to walk to the office of the Inspectorate of Government and endure a lengthy process to lodge a complaint against corruption. Now it has become as simple as typing the word corrupt and sending the SMS to 6009 free of charge. So when you do that, then you'll get a message which tells you expose corruption, toll free service, what is your complaint? So you'll be required to say, I am reporting alleged abuse of office, I'm reporting bribery, I'm reporting embezzlement, and then we shall ask you to give us the name of the person and where the person works. And then you'll be able to indicate to us whether the person is working for a district, whether the person is working for a health center, whether the person is working for whichever institution they're working for. But your role does not end with merely sending the SMS. Officials from the inspectorate will locate you for further information during the investigations. When you give us all that information, then we shall be able to give you a complaint reference number, which you will keep, which the complainant is supposed to keep, and be able to follow up in the event that we haven't gotten back to them as soon as possible. This platform allows the community to play a key role in the fight against graft, or does it? Government fails to uh, confiscate people who are caught red-handed in corruption. Then how can that one through the SMS work? Most people may not associate themselves reason being, maybe if I'm the one sending the SMS, in case it becomes a court case, then I'll be fearing uh, to be involved in the cost issues. The question though is how much this campaign will achieve in fighting the vice. So we hope that with this system which is toll free and you can report from anywhere in the country where you are, from anywhere, whichever network, we believe that it will go a long way in helping people to report corruption. The campaign will be promoted in all districts which benefit from the Northern Uganda Social Action Fund 2 starting with Arua. Funded by the World Bank, this project is part of the Peace, Recovery and Development Plan. You know, we...